Just talk a little bit about this opportunity, your first fight in the U.S. Talk about uh, how big this is for your career. I'm happy to have this opportunity because it's the first time to come in the United States. I want to show my style here in the United States. I never, I never box here. Many people don't know me here in the United States. This is the opportunity to know me. How much do you know about your opponent, Peter Quellen? I, before this fight, I don't know Peter Quellen. Peter Quellen fight who? I don't know him. He fight who? Old man, Winky White, who are 40 years old, he do 10 rounds with him. Peter King is not, is not a, great, a great boxer for this division. The great boxer is Martinez, Chavez, you know. These people make Peter King like a, like a, go, a, a god. No, he's not a god in this, case, this, uh, this uh, division. Saturday night, we see the great fight with him. Boxing experts, media know you, you, they've seen your fights, but the general public in the U.S. has seen very little of you or nothing at all, and many have not given you, you know, a chance in this fight. Do you plan on shocking the world on Saturday night? I know that many people don't give me a winner for this fight. Saturday night, we see the Peter Killing cannot touch me because I fly like butterfly, and you, you know, I would, I would do 12 rounds with him, to punish him. I don't want to, to knock it out. I want to punish him in 12 rounds. Can you quickly just talk about the rest of the division and the other people in, uh, at 160 that you'd like to take on? After this fight, I want to fight uh, the, great, the best boxer in, this, uh, in this, uh, this division, like Tejo Martinez, Chavez, Daniel Gill. After this, I want to unify the title because my, op my object is to be the unified and undefeated boxer. It's me, it's Hassan Endam, it's uh, like that. I enter with, uh, with, with dancing because it relaxes me. It's uh, my show, it's put me in the, in, in the fight and when, after this, I do, like, uh, I, I do like I know. I fly like butterfly, I do every, every my show in the ring and up, upside the ring. Now you, this was before the Marta Rosian fight. Yeah. Have you done more of that since then? Is this what you do every fight? You, have this kind of a production for every fight? Every fight. Every fight I change my music. I, I, I chose my music. I enter like that. But because that is my style, you know, uh, I, I need it to relax my body. And after I do the great fight. What, what are you doing? What, who was your favorite artist? I think this was, uh, I think this was uh, Too Legit to Quit or something. This was, was this, who was this that night? Do you remember? No, I, I think we have many... I, I, I know song. that Name Prince song. Nassim Ahmed, like that, he entered like that. But we have, uh, we take care, we have uh, a style to enter like a, like a old man. What you artists know, do you, you know? like? But I, I like Prince Nassim Ahmed because he entered with dancing and after he do the punish, he punish it for you open it. What musicians do you like to hear and listen to? Who do you like to dance to? No, you know, I like uh, every, every music. Uh, but I, I like uh, R&B and hip-hop, you know. Okay, and in terms of your style, okay, um, you box, you box, um, and you've seen him box. Who is the better boxer between you and, and Peter Quill? No, no, I know that uh, the, in my division, the, the, the better boxer is Sergio Martinez, but he's he not undefeated, you know. After this fight, I want to fight the best boxer in my life. Daniel Gay, who are uh, unified, uh, uh, Sergio Martinez, Chavez, every, every great boxer in this division. We're here with uh, Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen, and we're just days away from the big fight here at the Barclays Center. Talk about what it was like getting ready for this guy, man. Man, it was like treacherous, it was hard, but I worked through all of it, and that's what's going to win me this fight this Saturday. What do you know about this guy? I just know he's black with braids. He's, he's, he, he thinks he has beautiful boxing skills, and that's until he steps in the ring with me. Did I hear you say that you don't watch tape, so you've, not, you've really not seen this guy fight? Is that The only time I watch tape is when they wrap in my hands and they put a white tape around my hands. But other than that, no, I win one round at a time, and I learn the guy right there in the ring. A lot of the so-called boxing experts, boxing pundits, say that uh, the average fight fan doesn't know a lot about this guy and that you could be in for a surprise on Saturday night. Your reaction to, to something like that? The only way I could be a surprise is if it was my birthday and they surprised me and say happy birthday. But other than that, I prepare for anything to happen. 
over I pushed out a 13 round sparring session with um, three different guys and you know um, gave the initiative and any one of those dropped me it went from a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars to drop me and I didn't get dropped I'm here right now I'm still looking good smelling good and ready to be the middleweight champion for not just for myself for my friends but for the fans most importantly is that is it the West Coast? I talked to Paulie a little earlier too, and I know you spent some time out there. Is that is it really that much better as far as the sparring goes? And is, is, would you consider that a key to your success? Yes, of course. You know, sparring and preparation is everything for big fights and big fights. Period. You know, um, I had tons of rounds with Ashida, Hugo Santino, the um, Hugo boss, who's undefeated. Wilkie, um, Silky Wilkinson, um, Marcus Upshaw, um, Caleb. Trax, what's his last name? Trax. Trax, yeah, I got many rounds with them and some guys from the UK. I got all different kind of um, rounds with guys. I actually got to spar with Paul Smith, the guy from um, from from London over there, from Liverpool, and actually I think was hired as a sparring partner for um, the Dam. So, you know, like, with all this being said, man, you know, my preparation, I'll take it up another notch. They have to tell me. I try to take less p breaks as possible. I do three different workouts in a day. I'm on top of everything because this is a business, man. And your first impression that you're trying to put out, especially being part of a historic event here in Brooklyn, I'm trying to make, a, a, I try to make it look good. Caught in the dam on the way out of here, and uh, one of the things he mentioned was that uh, he wanted to get past this fight and was looking forward to unifications with the likes of Martinez, uh, Gil, etc. Uh, almost read into it like there may be a little bit looking past you. Is that a bad idea? Uh, of course, you know, because when they asked me that same question, I said, right now, it's the guy that's in front of me. Because without getting him out the way, how could I see the others? And, you know... You know, that's that's what kind of guys do. They make those mistakes, and we've seen it all before when guys look ahead of time and they forget what's in front of you. That's like saying don't, you know, go too deep in the future and forget, forget about your present because a lot of things can go happen and mess up your future plans, and I think that's where he's going to mess up his future plans because when he looks at me and across the ring, I'm not going to take my eye off of him, and I'm going to make sure everything I put on him is going to be hard. No homo. <laughs> this guy, uh, this guy's known for his uh, elaborate ring entrances. I don't know if you knew that about him. And he uh, he fashions himself on like a Prince Nassim Hamed type thing, dancing to the ring in a whole nine. Uh, assuming he'll come to the ring second, he could leave you waiting for a little while. Can you keep your cool for something like that? Yeah, I mean it's a fight, and you know I'm prepare myself to be ready for anything. Like I said, if he wants to take a long time to, you know, get a dance in, and you know, brand, I don't celebrate anything. I don't have fun. I can't enjoy food until I know that I deserved it. People that go to vacations think they deserve it. I ain't never. I hardly deserve water. Last question, man. What can fight fans expect to either come out to the Barclays or what? Tune in uh, Showtime on the 20th. Can expect me be on Ring TV. More often, you can expect me to be a middleweight champion. And most importantly, you can expect me to hold God's platform that he painted for me. I'm going to inspire people while, while I'm on this platform and be responsible with this. I'm going to be a real dedicated fighter to the sport. I gave and sacrificed so much to be where I'm at right now, and I can't let nobody just take away that easy for dancing in the ring.